Hello, I'm Vivian McKinder and welcome to Head Designer TV. Thank you for joining us today. We're going to take you behind the scenes of a photo shoot in New York City where top stylists joined me and they attended a three-day workshop learning how to produce a photo shoot. It's the return of the diva. When I was asked how would I describe this collection, I came up with one word, expensive. Everybody wants to be somebody. 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 The inspiration for Retro Spectrum comes from Paris and Milan. The icon designers used in this collection, Chanel, Christiane Dior, Louis Vuitton, Yves Saint Laurent, and Armani, are the powerhouses of the fashion world. An inspiration from the 40s and the 80s with a modern twist is where this collection takes you. The important aspect of this collection are the textures, the big shapes, the return to reds. From editorial runway, this avant-garde will once again trickle down to Main Street. Celebrating new silhouettes and the return, yes, the return of the shoulder pads. Are you ready? This requires, of course, fuller hairstyles to balance with the shoulders, translating this into more curls, more volume, and in regards to color, the honey blondes, the strawberry blondes, and the vibrant reds. The 80s influence and Dolce & Gabbana's new collection was the inspiration for the makeup. It was the return of the diva. So let's go behind the scenes and I will introduce you to my fantastic team. Photographer Roberto Liguisti, David Maderich for makeup, David Wajada, fashion stylist, and of course our beautiful models, and the hair team, cannot do anything with strong support in this area. And my fabulous Rosemary, who is assisting me once again, uh, being my right-hand person. A journalist recently asked me, Vivian, how much time do you put into your photo shoots? And I said, that depends. It can be anything from a day to several weeks. But for this particular shoot, it was about a four-day preparation. And we're gonna take you behind the scenes to Viv, the storyboards, and my hours of uh, online searching and my time in the studio experimenting, practicing, working on mannequin heads. And let me take you into my diary. Okay, so this is my 1920s set. Oh, I've got a roller on me. <laughs> right now we're talking about wigs and how you work with wigs for the studio. So meet the gorgeous, delicious Brian. <laughs> uh, he's actually playing out for the blonde Jesus, the Nordic Jesus. <laughs> So true. Pleasure really to cool. meet you all. And then look at his hairline. Wouldn't you just be jealous of that? Mm. That is so fierce. Mm. Hi. Well, I've been in here now for about eight hours messing around. My shoulder is hurting me, so I've got ice on it. No, I'm not looking like a football player. Well, actually, I suppose I am. But anyway, I think I've got one hair saw I like now. I did a, a rope with this and then brought it forward. So I think this is really very, very cool. I'm really liking this. I just threw her on the floor and I actually think she looks a lot better. I think it's called Loosen Up. Slowly getting there. <laughs> Although you are looking at an editorial shoot and this collection is a more dramatic look at dressing hair, hair is really no different to fashion. Fashion designers need to create strong looks for the runway that inspire the editors to write about their stories and publish them in magazines. And from that inspiration, it is always diluted from runway to mainstream. And hair is really no different. Remember, we're a vital accessory to the ever-changing world of fashion. We are facing changing times. The hair cutting market in the salon is shrinking and the dress work and styling market has the potential to explode. 
The reason? More long hair. We need to address this shift and offer long hair clients another reason to come into the salon. For day casual, dressed editorial looks. This is the next expanding market. Don't let the slowdown of clients visiting the salon deceive you. There are trend challenges taking place before our very eyes that are far greater issues than the economy and we need to address them today. So you may be asking, what were the main techniques used and displayed in this collection? There was a big focus on 40s and 80s hairstyling, interpreted with a today twist. Hair was sweeping off the face in round shapes with lots of a texture. I added texture by curling and crimping the hair at the same time, which gave me a printed curl. I used hair extensions by Hair You Wear to increase the fullness. And in my number one image, I created a classic French twist. This is a rope braid sweeping into a curly back. So I have the sense of a little halo effect around the face with a lovely 1940s silhouette on the other side. I love asymmetric shapes, I just think they're so flattering. I loosely braided the hair and then created the push-pull technique which creates this lovely ballooned effect and is a way to open up a braid and really create lovely irregular shapes. The inspiration here was Betty Davis from the 1940s, returning to a style that has very strong finish. A short layered haircut with a very strong bold fringe, very smooth in my finishing in the front, and then uh, curling the hair with a very small curling iron and expanding the back for lots of volume. I call this my braided diva. This was a blend of hair extensions, braiding the hair into fishtail braids, and then sweeping them around the head just to really create a lovely irregular effect. And here again, I was ballooning the hair to make it open and expand. And this wonderful texture that I have in the hair takes very fine, slippery hair and just gives it so much volume. So think about this on a commercial level. You could take someone's hair and tie their hair in a very simple ponytail, keep the front very simple and clean, and then crimp the back of the hair and then do a very, very simple little chignon using the same technique. I call this my smooth rocker. Once again, showing an 80s into a 1940s feeling. This architectural role was achieved by setting the hair on hot rollers, back brushing, and then smoothing the hair over a hair pad to get this beautiful volume and shape. This is a variation on an architectural role. The hair was, once again, set with hot rollers, smoothed over a hair pad, and then the back was pinned into a very tight roll, giving a beautiful architectural look. Curly rock and roll. The front of the hair was set with a curling iron and back combed into a pomp. The rest of the hair was secured with a twist in the back of the head. The hair was curled very tightly and, and hair extensions were added to increase the volume and the hairstyle was molded into a 1940s silhouette. 